I'm Katie Fallon and I'm the Education Director for the West Virginia Raptor Rehabilitation Center. I'm a volunteer just like everyone else who works at the Raptor Center. We take injured and orphaned birds of prey and we try to fix them and release them back into the wild. Can I pet your face? Most of the birds that we treat have injuries that were caused by humans. The vast majority of our birds are hit by cars. We'll sometimes get birds that are accidentally caught in traps. And we unfortunately still see birds every year that are shot, which is a federal offense. So this is Vader. Vader is a turkey vulture. Turkey vultures eat 100% carrion with dead stuff. And they do a very good job of cleaning up our highways. All the dead deer that we have on our highways and um, all the other dead animals, turkey vultures, clean them right up. And turkey vultures can actually stop the spread of disease. They can eat an animal that has died from anthrax or from botulism, and their guts neutralize it. They're very strong, very strong digestive systems. This is Annie. Annie is a red-tailed hawk. She's an adult female red-tailed hawk. She weighs about three and a half pounds. And Annie is a very old bird. She's definitely a senior citizen among red-tailed hawks. If you find an injured wild red-tailed hawk, you will never want to snuggle it, you know, or put it, put it this close to you. She's very, very comfortable, um, very trustworthy. This is not normal red-tailed hawk behavior. And they have a very hoarse, piercing call that I'm not very good at replicating. It kind of goes, Kier! And it's the call that you usually hear in movies when they're showing a bald eagle. <laughs> um, it's not a bald eagle call, everyone thinks it is. It's actually a red-tailed hawk call. This bird is a golden eagle, and he was found near Salem in Harrison County, and he was caught last winter in an illegally set trap. And he lost two of his toes on one of his feet. Um, he also developed a severe bone infection, and he's been on antibiotics and pain meds for uh, quite a while now trying to cure him of his osteomyelitis. And we, we are really pulling for him. He's not quite out of the woods yet. <laughs> 